Hello everyone, in this video we'll be solving trigonometric equation sine square x minus sine x cos x which is equal to 0 on the interval 0 to 2 pi ok let's get started it says sine square x minus sine x cos x is equal to 0 so first of all let's try to observe what's common here for these two terms that is sine x if we plug sine x what left in the first term it's just sine x left because it is sine square x minus in the second term cosine x left is equal to 0 then the product of these two is equal to 0 means we can take either of the two 0 that means sine x is equal to 0 or sine x minus cos x is equal to 0 let us complete this first and then we'll come back to the, the other one sine x will be 0 from 0 to 2 interval I mean from 0 to 2 pi interval when x is equal to 0 degree that's one answer possible and the other one at 180 degree or at pi that's another possible uh, 0 0.4 sine and the other one uh, which is 2 pi or 360 degree because the interval is closed interval so the possible zeros or sine becomes zero is zero pi and two pi because sine zero is you know it's zero and sine pi also it's still it's zero and sine two pi is also it's zero so the zero points of the sine are on quadrantal angle on the x-axis you know one revolution it is if this is x-axis and this one y-axis if revolve in this direction anticlockwise direction the zero point of sign are zero and at pi and again at two pi so at every pi starting from zero in every pi point the, z the sign will be zero so the three zero points for sign are here they are okay let's continue and solve it the other sign x minus cos x is equal to zero means we can shift one of it to the other side that means sine x is equal to cosine x Sine and cosine are equal when x is equal to 45 degree in the first quadrant. Both of them are positive, so that means x is equal to pi over 4. Pi over 4 means it, you know, it's 45 degree. The other one, in the second quadrant, sine is going to be positive, but cosine will be negative, so it doesn't work. But in the third quadrant, both of them will be negative. So what is the related angle of 45 degree in the third quadrant? It is pi plus pi over 4. So x is equal to pi plus pi over 4 which is when you add them uh, it's going to be 5 over 4 pi so we have now around 5 answers generally here we do have 3 answers and here 2 answers together the solution set will be 0 pi over 4 pi 5 over 4 pi and just 2 pi so we have five answers. This will be the final answer for the solution set of the given trigonometric equation. Thank you for watching.